Hey guys, today I'm going to see how much money I can make farming Magikarps. This is a very beginner friendly money making method and Magikarp is in the Dragon Egg group which makes it a good Pokemon for breeding. You can easily catch tons of Magikarp in the Safari Zone which is right here in Kanto in Fuchsia City and we are going to travel up into the Safari Zone. You can get in for just $500 and you get free Pokeballs, well, for $500. And then you just sit and fish. You have to use an old rod, so I have to switch that really quick. Old rod, let me see if I've got it. it should be in the key items, old rod. And I'm gonna wanna put that into my key item slot. And we're just going to stand here by these other guys and just start fishing. And you encounter Magikarp at a 100% rate. The catch rate's not quite a 100%, unfortunately. But I'm just going to sit in this, in this uh, safari zone and just chuck balls at Magikarps for one hour and see how much money I can make. I'm only five minutes in, and I've been finding that Magikarp's catch rate is probably like, I don't know, 60% maybe. There was a few Magikarps that didn't get in the ball for five balls. So I'm finding that using a rock first is actually better. It increases their catch rate, and they never flee. Like, I don't know if it's a thing or... They just never run away. They're always watching carefully. So just throw a rock first and then catch them. And the catch rate is way better after you throw a rock. And so you won't waste so many balls. And you'll probably catch more, honestly. Okay, never mind. Sometimes they do flee if you throw a rock. I just did that and it ran away. But... I'm still going to throw rocks because I still think it's good. I'll keep track of how many flee and see if we can get kind of a percentage rate on this. Okay, most of them just stay, and then it's usually a 100% catch rate here. Like, I haven't had one get out of the ball yet after throwing a rock. Okay, four of them literally just fled after I threw a rock at them. So maybe it's not the best to throw a rock. And now I'm thinking... I'm just going to throw balls. But if you're like really low on money, then it's probably best to throw rocks so that you don't waste any balls. But I think I'm just going to throw balls from now on because I think it'll save some time. Okay, I've just been told that anything with the suction cups ability will help your encounter rates. So I'm actually going to look for one really quick. Has ability suction cups. And let's see, we'll just buy the cheapest one here. And I'm going to pick that up next time I get out of this Safari Zone. All right, now I got my Suction Cups Pokemon right here, the Octillery. He's leading my party, increasing the chance of bites. And I got to say, he's definitely worth it. I bought him for like 1500 So definitely if you're going to do this strategy, just get yourself an Octillery. Oh, you know, one other thing that might work, actually, is a Cute Charm Pokemon. Could use a female Cute Charm Pokemon to get more male Magikarps, because I'm sure male Magikarps sell better if they've got good IVs. Or you could even lead with a Synchronized Pokemon, like a Synchronized Adamant Pokemon, so that you get more Adamant uh, Magikarps. That might be a, a good strategy for making more money, too. Alrighty, my one hour is up, and it's time to see how many Pokemon I caught to get out of the this place. Just go down, you can get out. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Want to leave. No, there we go. And let's see how many Magikarps we caught. Caught a full box, and holy cow, we caught almost 100 Magikarps in one hour. I'm going to sort through these and be back with some numbers. Alrighty, guys, I did the calculations, and I have the numbers, and it's actually a lot more than I thought I would make. I've got a whole bunch of 31 IV 
carps and then i've got some with just really good stats and see like this one's got 25 25 and it's jolly and it's got 15 in the other stats that one's worth quite a bit especially since jolly uh jolly gyarados is really good for storyline runs and these are all my worthless ones i've got lots of worthless carps but uh these ones more than make up for it i don't even think i got that lucky in this hour because i don't have any 2 by 30 ones so let's check the numbers here they are i just went through price checked every single one and this is after the listing fee is counted how much profit i make off of each one the males tend to sell for way way more than the females so that's why like a del caddy would be really nice with cute charm also the nature really really mattered as well like adamant and jolly uh carps go for way more so a synchronized Pokemon could increase profits by a lot. But uh, I came out with 205,000 after adding all those numbers up, minus the 3,000 for getting into the Safari Zone. And that leaves me with a 202K profit in one hour. So actually, this beginner money making method is actually one of the best money making methods in the game, surprisingly, at least at this point, at least at this moment. So get out there and start hunting those carps man i'm just gonna sell all these off really quick since i've got the number in front of me and if you guys liked the video or thought it was helpful in any way please consider dropping me a like on the video otherwise if you have any like other good strategies that i could use then make sure to leave it in the comments so and i, I read every single comment and some of them are really really helpful so definitely definitely consider doing that and then hit that subscribe button because i'm coming out with videos pretty often and uh you might not want to miss them because i've got lots of guides lots of money making strategies and yeah you're gonna want to tune in so anyways that's it for me and i'll see you in the next one